one million. That's right. Tiptoe through the tumors, as they used to say. Oh, I like that. That's the song from way back. Saying, you want to uh, sing it for uh, us? I, we do not want to do well, that. That's what I was getting at. Tiny Tim, for those of okay. you who may remember who that was. Anyway. Listen, it it's a now, good time to do all those things, uh, gardening. There you I'll go. change the subject for you. Thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> it's like it's a song, Laura. I had no idea either. It's well, okay. I, yeah, I don't yeah. know anything general knowledge outside of weather. <laughs> uh, gorgeous today. Yes, Let's keep them coming, right? The problem is the weekend is when things change, mm. you know? So hopefully, you know, you can get outside after work yeah. hours, mm. whatever happens. I know, we don't really have the opportunity, <laughs> but it's okay. Go hang out. Okay. Uh, yeah. It does feel nice on that back deck, Russ. I'll tell you. <laughs> Tomorrow, we're going to do it again, except tomorrow's going to be a little bit different because we're going to start warmer. So that's going to be a nice springboard for our temperatures in the afternoon. Uh, a couple clouds working through the area tonight. That's that weak frontal boundary. It's passing by to our northeast. We'll be have, have just a couple lingering clouds tomorrow morning. 50s, though, and then sunshine and breezy tomorrow afternoon. We're talking mid to upper 70s. Keep in mind that you can get burnt pretty quickly this time of year. It has nothing to do with temperature. It's all about sun angle, which is pretty high this time of year. If you compare it to the other side of summer solstice, this is like an August sun that we're dealing with. So that UV index stays high tomorrow, Thursday, and Friday as well. We'll have more clouds this weekend. You can see uh, the categories there. Obviously, we are in the high category, so sunscreen is needed. And during the hours of noon to 4 o'clock, you probably just want to avoid that direct sunlight if you can. I know a lot of you don't have a choice, construction workers included, all that good stuff. We're in the 70s for the Guardians tomorrow. Again, it's an afternoon game as they're getting out of town. 110, sunny skies. Breeze will still be blowing out. Remember I said this was the first game that breeze was blowing out? You'll see in sports there were some runs, and we'll probably have some more runs tomorrow with that wind going out. Temperatures right now in the 50s and near 60 degrees, if not mid-60s in some of the cities. Notice the warmth out towards the west as well. Entire eastern half of the country is void of cold air. It's all up in Canada right now. And in terms of dew points or that muggy feeling, we just don't have it this time of year. We look for dew points above 50 degrees, and there are none in the Plain States. You get a little bit more moisture pulling along a frontal boundary, but overall we've got very dry air. There were some high burn risks today uh, in terms of fire danger because we had such dry air and wind blowing around. Uh, that's going to be the case tomorrow. So cigarettes you're tossing out your window, don't do it tomorrow. Open burning out in the country. Don't want to do that as well with this very dry air mass in place. High pressure continues to pump in the warmth, though. It's quiet across the country. Two things we're watching for what's next here. Out towards the West Coast, that system comes in this weekend, and it meets up with a system in the Gulf of Mexico. Look at the jet stream just kind of doing the loop-de-loo here. That jet stream pattern is going to spin up a low here, if you can imagine a hand going through water there, and that low will eventually form in the Gulf. It'll bring some flooding to areas near New Orleans and all that rain comes our way as we get into the weekend, but it'll be kind of broken up and unorganized as you'll see here in the forecast. National Design Mart Hour by our forecast. Beautiful sunshine tomorrow. It will be breezy once again. We're well into the 70s. We'll stay warm tomorrow night. So when's the rain arrive? Well, we're still looking at Saturday into Sunday and then it kind of lingers as this low pressure sticks around. This is what it looks like on the surface map. Here comes our low out of the Gulf. No rain expected on Friday. Saturday it'll be scattered around here. I think many dry hours for your weekend plans, but then Sunday the actual front gets here, showers and thunderstorms. We still turn cold around the backside, and yes, model still showing a little bit of snow in there as well. Again, we'll fine tune that forecast. We're staying positive now, keeping it all rain. Your Union Home Mortgage 10 day showing temps near 80 degrees, then falling back in to the near 50 degree category Monday, Tuesday with more showers. But next week we bounce back into the 60s, just like you expect in spring. Russ, bounce back. We like it. Thank you, Matt.